Hello and welcome to Renard Studios Comics uh, Coloring of Peter Pan the Vampire 4th Issue, page 16. So uh, my kids were being quiet for a little while, playing in their room, so I decided that I was going to start coloring. But, so if you hear some noise, that's just my boys playing in the other room. They get a little rowdy sometimes. So here's page 16. And it may have jumped forward progress-wise. Progress-wise? Yeah, that sounds... Okay. Because uh, I work on it during breaks at Walmart, and I attempted to color while I was on break alone, but then a lot of people came in for their own breaks, and it gets loud and awkward when I'm talking to a computer like this. So I had to turn it off. Obviously, it's very hard for me to find quiet places to work on this. But, I'm getting by. So, I'm coloring Tinkerbell here. And I think I want to zoom up to an 80%. Oh, there's Peter Pan. And there's the Tinkerbell I'm coloring. So, yeah, I've already colored her hair and her Levi's and her shirt. And I added in a t-shirt that I drew a long time ago. I just kept the file to make it easier to drop it into my drawings. So today I am working on wings. And zoom in a little bit more. And pick my lasso. And I'm going to select. Oh, here we go. Let's stay outside this gray line here. Might be a little hard because blue and gray are too closely identifiable for Photoshop, apparently. Hmm. And there I go. Locking in my wing shape here. Well, one reason I, I definitely held off on coloring this until I was able to capture it because I have a, an interesting idea on how I'm going to color her wings. So before, when I used to color them in uh, colored pencil, I had a little different style coloring them such as I would lay my drawing onto a leaf to uh, color it. Let's see here. Tinkerbell wings layer. And I am actually going going back to this layer of wings here. And I am going to hmm. Delete that as it is. Go back into Tinkerbell Wings here. Now I need to open a leaf picture that I have in my FX folder. And I think it might be in Wings. Mm, looks like nothing but crow and dove wings here. That's weird. Textures. Let's check textures. I should definitely extract the things I'm thinking of. As you can see, I have a lot of textures that I might need someday, but I haven't used all of these things yet. Metal, moldy ground, lots of different fun stuff. Palm trees, come on, sand. There's the sh Shandy t-shirt that I used in the last one to color her t Tinkerbell's t-shirt. Handkerchiefs, t-shirt, shirt, 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 shirt. Splatter, there's my leaves. Okay, I'm going to... Copy these. All right, 
let's see here. Copy. And go into wings. That way they are in wings when I need them next time. Paste. And which wing do I want to use here? I have, that's a walnut leaf. And this is a cottonwood. Walnut, I think I'm going to go with the cottonwood actually. I think that'll make a much cooler wing. All right. Start off with layering this as tink wing. Now open the window so I could see more of it. Now this is the uh, subtract from selection. So I've sub selected the entire thing and now I'm going to subtract the leaf. Do, 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 tracing all the way around it. I'm going a little rough than I usually do. Wow, those boys are playing really loud in there, huh? Tracing up the leaf. Oh man. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? It's getting stuck. Yeah, okay. Now I think I want to make sure I get this full stem. You never know when I might need that. Now hit delete, get rid of the sidewalk. That leaves me with the leaf. Now I am going to enhance this so that every time I use it for Tink's wings, it is the color I want it, which is going to be a light blue. Nope. Undo that. So increase blue, decrease the red, decrease the green, increase the blue, lighten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, maybe dark. Hmm. All right. Decrease the red. Yeah, that's what I want. Increase blue, decrease the red. Saturate it. Highlight it. Decrease the red. Decrease the green. Decrease the green. Decrease the green. Decrease the red. Blue. Let's see what it does in shadows. Okay, undo. Yeah, no, that was right. Increase the blue. Increase the red. Lighten. And where are we at? One more saturation? No. Lost some of the veinage in there. 
Shadows, let's see what we do here. And I think that's good. And there, now I have a big blue leaf. Sorry, hydration a little bit. Now, first of all, I better save this. Relief, Tink Wing. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely going to come in handy there. Now, copy that boy. Close that. Have my wing selected. Tink wings, make sure I'm on my pointer tool. Go into paste into selection. Oh man, and it must be super huge, so I bet better zoom out so I can scale it down. Oh yeah, it's super big. Pointer tool. Scale this girl down. And I want the veins to flow from the shoulder blades here. Now I better zoom in to see what I'm doing. Because now it just looks like a little blue circle, huh? So back up to 80. Oh, 8 on. And slide over. So I'm going to position it so that that stem is at the shoulder blade here, which would be right here, right at the heart. That's where I want the veins to come out from. Now, let me think about if I am liking this look. Oh. Can't go that far because I don't want to go. And <laughs> is he saying I'm the Iron Giant in there? That's cute. Yeah, that is a really cool looking wing. Now I want this layer to be 65% or do I want to 75, 70 even, 70 even seems good, but now that I'm seeing this in this light, I'm not liking the color of the inks here. So I'm going to push shift and select all the wings here. And I think I want them to be blue now. But do I want them that blue or do I want them dark blue of the vein? So while I have that open, I'm going to make a change to this. Move the word wings over. Make a new square here. Stroke outline. It's actually Maui. Oh, 
Oh, gee, what is that? It's my timer. I've been going for a good while. Normal, blending, what? And I want the square to be black. Now, in that... Oh, shoot. I lost my colored selection here. There we go. Bucket. Color key. That way, <coughs> when I do this again, I have that color already set. It looks very close to this color over here, though. I should have just gone to that. Whatever. All right, now, bucket in the inks layer, make that blue, and do I want it to be a lighter blue? Hmm. No, I think I like it. Now, yeah, yeah, let me. All right, let's try that. Yeah, all right, I like that. So, now with that in mind, I'm going to go back to this and change that to that blue. There. So while that's open, I'm going to save it. New color key. Back to my Peter Pan. And select the other wing. Oh. Now I need to go here. Select the next wing. So yeah, in the comments, I want you to let me know what you think of how I chose to color this. Whether you think it's cheating or dumb or cool. I would like to know. Alright, <clears throat> now I need to go do Tink Wings layer, which is at 70% opacity. That means if I color behind it, you will be able to see through it. Or if she's in front of someone, you can see them through the wings. Paste into. Oh, and it's super huge again. So I'm going to zoom out to 18. Scale that girl down. about where the stem is going to be, right? Scale her down. Oh, man. Okay, now zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that is definitely too small. So the stem at the heart, that's going to work out. Pull it to fit. More. Roll it a little bit. And there we go. Now trace the bottom wings. Hit shift so that I can select that little corner and this big wing at the same time. And I 
better wrap this up. Today is my anniversary. I've been married to my wife, Annie, for 19 years. And we are going on a little anniversary trip down to Salt Lake. And we are going to go into the temple where Latter-day Saints, known as uh, Mormons, to... Whoa, hey. To the uh, non-Utah population, I guess. All right, let's see here. Now I need to do that so I don't color her thumb as a wing. But, yep, so we are going to uh, go through some sessions at our temple. It's a church thing we do. Involving uh, our religious beliefs. And now I just feel awkward saying stuff like this. Anyway, get back to coloring the wing here. I have been married to Annie for 19 years now. And she is not into comics like I am, but we get along really good. And I have five kids that are into drawing with me in comics. and It's fun stuff. And yeah. She is a very good mother, and that is one of the qualities I like the most about her. Is she is she is an excellent mother to my kids, and has taught me a lot about families and fun stuff like that. Let's see. Make this a really tiny wing or leaf. Now, zoom into 80. I better wrap this up so it's not a long video. Well, that's another thing I should ask you guys. Do you do you mind if the videos are long or you don't care? So, if you are watching me and it, you are listening to it, please tell me. If you don't mind if they're long, because I think the longest I will go is maybe a half hour to 40 minutes. But if you like them short and sweet, I can keep them to 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jack. All right. So that stem is in the heart. Vein and out. Perfect. Perfect. And that's a good go for that one. Now I'll hurry up and select the other one. And be done with the wings. Multi selectional. I guess that's the exact same thing as pushing down the shift. And now I might as well zoom out before I paste into selection. Yeah, oh man, did it make it bigger? pointer tool and swivel that to face outward widen that All right. 
Wow. And there's some Tinkerbell wings. Yeah, since I'm here, I might as well start lens flaring it up. So I'm going to zoom out to maybe 65. No. 55? Yeah. No, maybe even 50. Hmm. See what 40 looks like. 30. There we go. All right, let's see here. So I'm going to get really wobbly for a second here. Whoop. Whoop. Make sure I get just kind of some random loops here. much. Oh, actually, maybe I liked it that way. Yeah, that'll do it. But I'm going to subtract this panel because I don't want to color Peter Pan's background. Just Tinkerbell's. And actually, shoot. this panel and subtract Peter Pan's again. Now, let's see, how do I do it? Go to ice, filter, render, lens flare, and it'll show me, now I just, I have no way of knowing where the wings are going to be, but that looks like a good place for it. And this sliding scale increases the brightness of the lens flare. I think I just want to stick to that size, but I can also choose different kinds. See that one's starburst. That one's a different kind. I think that kind is going to work for the ice layer though. So let's scale here for, since it's the ice layer, Let's try that one. It seems big enough. Pop, and it brightened. But you can't really tell it's lens flary, huh? Now let's go to the FX layer. Filter, render, do the exact same thing. I have to do it for every layer now. And pop. Oh, maybe I don't like that. Undo that. So I'm going to go back to filter, filter, render, lens flare it again, go down here, let's try a different, oh, get on the right layer, cancel, shoot, when I undid it, it went back to the default layer, all right. So this scale here is showing me what it's going to do to this. Yeah, I might as well do that one. No, too much right there. Nope. I do. Back to the ice layer again. See, it's really hard when you don't know where it's going to place it. I want it. I would like it to be right from where her heart would be. There. See? Now.
skin layer, filter, render, lens flare. So that at least shows me where our arms are. See, so I was way off. I needed to be right here. Which I will pop that maybe right here. No, because that will cut right into her chin. I don't want to do that. There we go. No, maybe I want this on the other side. Nope. to the skin layer okay my problem is is I have the thing set to ISO 100 perfect well I don't really know where it even touched but clothing render lens flare Hey, Jack. Mm. I want to see you. And let's add one more on the <laughs> underside here. Let's see what the different. Oh, too bright. Yeah. Oh. Oh, why? That was dang too bright. It's kind of a hit and miss on. Alright, here. Go to the wings, though. That's definitely where the lens flare needs to be. It's my mouse. Mouse? Yep. That's your mouse? Hmm. What's the taste? That's a straw. Straw? Straw? What's the taste? What's the taste? It's a cup. Cup? <laughs> What's the taste? That's a lid. Lid? Yep. What's the taste? That is a granola bar. Alright, so yeah, you s this is just an endless stream of trying things until you get what you want. And you're happy with how it looks. All right, one more. So, these. Because Tinker Bell's wings are very Girl. bright, and so oh, Girl. that was almost in the right place. Look at these. Look at these. Down here. Look at these. Perfect. Okay, I like how that looks. Well, and let's see. How about in small things? Let's see, small things. Small things is the shoes. Oh, I need to color those shoes. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Just for kicks, I'm going to see what a layer. What did this fit? What did this fit? What did this fit? What a lens flare looks like on that layer. How it affects all the other stuff. Yeah. All right. But I think I do want to go back down to the ice layer and drop a bright one behind her to make her pop. 